What's up, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to this video. I got a lot here that I want to share. I've received a lot of boxes this week, and um, I've only shared one of them thus far, and that was a box that came from Lady Funko. I actually want to start off uh, with the Ad Icon Challenge. Now, if you're not familiar with that, that's been going around for a while now. I almost started not to address it because I don't really consider myself to be much of an Ad Icon collector. I have very few in my collection. And, um, you know, so I decided basically just to wait. And then once I got the item that I'm about to share with you all, then I was like, you know what, now that I have three that I am a big fan of, I might as well do the Ad Icon Challenge because the focus of this challenge is to share your three favorite Ad Icon pops that you have in your collection and then also share three that you would like to add to your collection. So this is my favorite by far. Even though I just received this, this is definitely my favorite from the Funko shop you see what it is there okay you see the top there yes I did manage to get the snap crackle and pop three pack of pops there from the Funko pop-up shop so yeah this looks really awesome there I really do like the look of this um, I know some people have been talking about how the artwork looks different and yeah it does but I, I don't know it doesn't really bother me much um, because I'm, my, my eyes are just drawn right to the pops. As a matter of fact, I've seen a lot of pops where the art doesn't quite match the pop itself. And a lot of times, I don't really notice it until somebody else points it out. Because like I said, my eyes tend to be drawn to the pops themselves. And these pops look absolutely incredible. I love the look of them. I'm glad that Funko produced this in good numbers. So if you had your eyes on the Funko pop-up shop that day when this released, you should have been able to lock this down if you were willing to spend the money for it. For me, it was totally worth it. I mean, I really do love these here. So like I said, I don't have much ad icons going on in my collection. So um, I mean, my other two favorites that I have would have to be Diggum. I really do like the look of Diggum, especially with the, the baseball cap on. And then the Noid. I think they knocked it out of the park with the Noid, especially the sculpt of the mouth and everything. I'm that was a good decision to actually sculpt his mouth. That's a big part of that character. So, yeah, I think they did a great job with that. Now, as far as ad icons that I don't have that I would like to add to my collection, I would probably have to say the glow in the dark lucky of course from lucky charms because i actually like lucky charms you know that's one of my favorite cereals especially the chocolate lucky charms really love that cereal so yeah that would definitely be um probably the main ad icon i'd like to add to my collection then also um yummy mummy i mean i, I just like the look of yummy mummy i've never had that cereal in my life but um that that is one i would like to add to my collection the last one is I, I kind of want to have a Frankenberry, but honestly, I don't really like the original Frankenberry that much. I mean, it's such an old mold now. Um, I would love to see an updated one. I don't know if that would ever happen, but if they ever did an updated version of, um, you know, Frankenberry especially, I mean, if they did an updated Frankenberry, I would assume they do count Chocula and Booberry as well, but mainly Frankenberry I would love to have, or actually, they do have um, Frankenberry Hakari figures which if I could track down one of those, I would definitely add it to my collection. So, yeah, those would be the three that I'd like to add to my collection. Yeah, I was actually tagged to do the Ad Icon Challenge by Lady Funko. I'm not sure if anybody else tagged me as well. I'm trying to catch up on those videos, but there's been a lot of them. I'm really behind with that challenge. But for anybody else that was not tagged to do that challenge, if you want to do it, just I would say go for it at this point. I'm not going to tag anybody in particular because like I said I'm behind on it a lot of people that I know have already done it so again if you've not done it yourself already and you have some ad icon pops in your collection I say go for it we're gonna move on now to some other things that I received this definitely will not be in the order that I received them but um I did receive actually a letter just this morning and um, I didn't know this letter was on the way and this actually comes from Corin Corin is somebody that comments on my videos on a regular basis um, he hangs out sometimes on the live stream so definitely a supporter of the channel and I do want to go ahead and share the letter that was sent here okay so it says here dear FM I am 11 years old and I love watching your videos your Funko news is very helpful and I'm so appreciative of your hard work 
I am also loving the concept, concepts videos in the Soapbox series, which I'm sad you stopped, but understand wanting to be positive. Thank you so much for being so kind to your community, and I hope we can show just as much kindness back. If I ever get to posting videos, my channel will be a gaming and pop channel, and I will be inspired by yours. I will never stop supporting this channel in you. Sincerely, Corin. And um, it does say, P.S. here, never let any comment or person bring you down. Be stronger than, than them, uh, just like you always are. Okay, and he actually <laughs> put that little drawing there. Okay, that's me in my hoodie staring down a mean comment. And then on the back here is actually a drawing, and um, I don't know what the light, and that might be kind of tough to see. Let me get some of the light off of it, hopefully. But that's actually me there, rocking my hoodie and the FM on the chest there. Okay, so very cool. I definitely appreciate that, Corin. Thanks for sending this my way, and I will make sure I hang on to that definitely. And um, as far as uh, you know, what you mentioned there about addressing mean comments, trust me. The ones I address is very minimal. I most of the most of the time when people bring ugliness to my channel, I just block them and move on. It's rare occasions that I may address certain things, especially if I'm seeing them repeatedly. But you know, I keep it moving on my channel, and I am trying to keep it as positive as possible. Again, Corin, thank you so much for that thoughtful letter and for the artwork that you included on the letter. I'm gonna move things right along here, but like I said, I got a lot to cover here. So I have a pop that was sent by another supporter of the channel they actually did hit me up I believe on Instagram and let me know that they could send this my way and I definitely appreciate that because my Walgreens has been getting some of the new pops the new horror pops but not all of them I haven't seen all of them around so obsessed reader 28 obsessed reader 28 actually sent this pop my way and I really do appreciate this and uh, let's go ahead and open it up here and take a look at it yeah, this looks very cool. We have here Jason Voorhees with the bag mask. Yeah, right away, I love the look of it. Of it. This is my first time seeing it up close. I kind of opened the box just to peek, but I didn't take it all the way out. Yeah, this is a great looking pop. And um, I love how the mask actually looks like it has some texture to it. That is very cool. And I think I will get this out and take a quick look at it up close because I really do want to get a better look at it. But I, I think this is an awesome pop. Even though they've done Jason Voorhees uh, more than once now, I think this was a great idea by Funko to do this pop here. So yeah, this is very cool. And like I said, I will get it out. We will take a closer look at it before I move on here. So the pop itself, when you actually uh, put your hands on the mask, you don't actually feel texture to it. But I, that's what is pretty clever about this. Just the way that they painted it and they designed it, it looks like it has more texture to it. It looks authentic, like almost like the authentic material. But no, it's just, you know, the paint job that pulls that off. So yeah, they did a great job with that. And you can see, I mean, it doesn't quite connect there, of course, because they had to do the neck there. But then they have it where it looks like the bag continues around his neck, around his collar and everything. Yeah, this, this is just a really cool design. It's somewhat simple, but I like it. Moving along here, I have something from a good friend of mine, Cat D. Um, if you follow my channel on a regular, you've probably heard me mention Cat D's name many times. Uh, she does help me out. I help her out sometimes. You know, like I said, it's a really genuine friendship, not just all about YouTube. It definitely goes beyond that. So we do look out for each other. She ordered this for me, and then I looked out for her. I got something on the way to her right now. But uh, yeah, I was really glad to grab this because I'm somewhat of a completionist when it comes to this series. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Oops, I think I got it upside down. <laughs> and here we have Luis Belcher from Bob's Burgers. And this is the Box Lunch exclusive. Now what's cool about this, and they actually have it right here on the sticker, it says 10 meals are donated with this purchase. So this is actually for a good cause. They donate 10 meals to um, Feeding America when you purchase this pop. I believe that this pop is still available on Box Lunch's website, and if it is, I'll try to remember to link it down below. So remember, it's for a good cause. It's not just about the pop itself, but it is a cool pop there. Um, this one I probably will leave in the box for now. But I'm going to add it over to my um, Bob's Burgers collection, which um, I actually have all of the other pops. And let me see, they don't have any on the back here. They just have information about Feeding America, which I'll hold that there for a moment. But um, I have all of the other Bob's Burgers pops except for Tina, Espresso Tina on the Unicorn, 
with that one I'm pretty much waiting for a price drop I just don't feel like it's worth paying almost fifty dollars with the shipping to get that particular pop ride but um you know other than that I do have all the other pops and I'm still a big fan of Bob's Burgers I think they've had a couple of seasons that weren't as strong as some of the earliest ones but they still have some pretty funny episodes so yeah I really do like that series so Cat D thank you for that and be on the lookout of course for what I have on the way to you next up here we got another item from another very cool individual Robert Kinzel he is a youtuber um, I'll try to remember to link his channel down below and I really want you all to make sure that you check out his channel and um, I'm gonna say some more about that in a moment here but first I want to go ahead and share an item that he sent my way because this is something I really wanted. It's not a pop, but it is something I really do like. This is a Mighty Mugs, and it is the Mighty Mugs of Thanos. Now, when I first saw the images of this, I was like, yes, I definitely want to get that because I've been kind of on a tear collecting a lot of Thanos um, figures. I know there's a new Thanos statue out right now that some people are grabbing up. I think that GameStop has it. I'm not so sure about the coloring on that one. I feel like I got to see it up close before I make up my mind on that. But uh, yeah, I definitely wanted this Mighty Mugs. And if you're familiar with the new Mighty Mugs, because this is something they started to do recently, you see it, how they have it up here. You can press down on the head and you get three different expressions. So right now there, he's kind of snarling and he has the light up eye there. Okay. This one, even angrier looking, got the full mouth open. And then there, he's actually smiling somewhat, although he still looks threatening, of course. So, yeah, that's kind of the new hook there with uh, the Mighty Mugs, that they had these different expressions, very similar to uh, Man Manny Faces from Masters of the Universe. So, um, with the Mighty Mugs, though, um, I do like the I like that they had this feature now with the different expressions. It does work really well with some characters. I'm still not crazy about the body sculpts on these. I mean, they're all pretty much that same type of simple body sculpt. So I'm not super crazy about that, but I do like the look of some of these. And I'm actually still going to try to get the um, the Iron Man one and the Ant-Man one. I want to add those to my collection as well. You know, times like this, I actually do miss Toys R Us because I know Toys R Us was carrying these. And if they still been open, they might have had the, um, the Iron Man one and the Ant-Man one by now. But, uh, you know, it's all good. I'm glad that I do have this one, thanks to Robert. And uh, he actually did send two more items my way they're actually pop figures here and I know what they are they're in these boxes right now and I'm not gonna open these up right now though I'm not gonna share these because what Robert did he was nice enough he knew that I had in mind to do something special for Halloween so he sent those two pops my way and like I said I already know what they are and he said basically I could keep one for myself and then use one for the giveaway well, what I'm going to do is actually split them up because I'm going to create two boxes for Halloween giveaways. One is going to be sort of a more mature theme box, one that um, I'm not going to say what's exactly in it, but it will represent properties that are more like mature theme. And then the other box is going to be a Nightmare Before Christmas box. So I actually have two giveaways coming up for the month of October which I just call Halloween month basically so um yeah that's coming up on the channel I'm not gonna talk about how to enter yet you know please be patient you know if you watch the videos consistently you'll find out more details about those giveaways but yeah like I said I'm gonna link one of Robert's videos down below please go check him out and definitely thank him for helping to contribute to these upcoming giveaways you know show some appreciation for that especially if you plan on entering those giveaways you know make sure that you show him some support for that basically because it is well deserved finally here we're gonna get into a couple of pops that I ordered for myself you know so I already went through the ones that were sent to me you know things that were sent to me by other people but um, well you know of course other than snap crackle and pop but um yeah, yeah, now I'm going to get into a couple more pops that I ordered just for myself. So the first one here came from GameStop. You can see the top of it there. So some of you may know what this one is already. And this one is a very cool looking pop. And I've been such a big fan of the um, the PS4 Spider-Man game. Looks like it might come out easier the other way. Yeah, it does. Okay, so I'm a big fan of the PS4 Spider-Man game. I've been playing it a lot. I got the Platinum Trophy on it. Um, after I finished the story and then I went back and I still got the um, the last hidden costume so I have all of the costumes now um, just really love that game and I still may play it some more you know just to enjoy the combat and swinging around and all of that 
and I'm actually considering hanging on to it because I did rent it through Gamefly but they do have the option to buy it from them and I may actually go ahead and purchase it and hang on to it so I can check out the DLC as well but yeah here we have this new pop this is a GameStop exclusive this glow-in-the-dark negative spider-man this is a very cool looking pop I definitely love that it has the glow-in-the-dark feature which I think just the eyes glow on it and I will check the glow on it for you all and if I could get a good image of it I will share it here for you all but yeah this is a very cool pop right away I love the pose of this figure I really I love action poses and especially when it comes to spider-man you really don't want to see Spider-Man just standing with his arms at his side like the old school pops. I mean, you got to see Spider-Man in action. So, yeah, I really like that um, stance that he's in right away. Very cool suit design. Um, one thing I, I'm not so crazy about is um, the black on the head sculpt is very matte. I mean, it's very flat looking coloring. And then it's somewhat shiny. The black is somewhat shiny on the suit itself. So the blacks don't quite match up. But, you know, that's not a big deal overall, though this is still a really well-designed pop. The um, the white parts here, they look almost translucent, so, I mean, you could say also that it doesn't match up with the eyes, but I think that's because of the glow-in-the-dark feature there, you know, so I understand that. But, um, yeah, overall, really cool pop figure. This is pretty awesome, and there are so many great Spider-Man pops on the way. The Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse um, figures are on the way and also of course all those Walgreens exclusives yeah there's, there's just a lot on the way with spider-man so I feel like um you know I'm, I'm becoming even more of a spider-man fan just because there's so much cool stuff going on with the character right now and I am looking to, uh, forward to the next spider-man movie of course as well the last two items that I have here I ordered these with entertainment earth I got two items here this is one of them and you could tell from the shape of the box that this isn't a pop figure here we got something else going on so let me go and get this out I think I know what this is I'm pretty sure yeah and the size of this box was really not necessary for this item you know they, they really should have had a smaller box but it's all good so what we have here is DC bombshells Harley Quinn so yeah I've really been waiting for this one it feels like for a long while I'm glad it's finally here though uh, more than likely well, I, actually, I was about to say I'm probably going to take this out right away because I tend to um, unbox most of the Rock Candy figures and display them. But I actually do like the look of this one in the box itself. You know, and you can see her pretty well. So, yeah, I think I'll leave this in the packaging for a while. I do like that they have that gold, um, like, foil on the back. You know, that helps it to catch the light and look even cooler. Yeah, and, of course, I really do like this design. I like that the expression that she has, too. She's like, you can see it here on the art on the side. She's doing like the pouty lips, you know, so, and then you can see a good look of the full figure there on the back. So, yeah, this is a really cool version of Harley Quinn. Of course, with the bombshell line, it has that very old school feel to it. Yeah, really well done. I like, too, that little touch there. She actually has a bat symbol on her belt. It's so funny the way Harley Quinn is when it comes to Batman. It's like... It's almost like she hates him because the Joker hates him, and yet at the same time, she's kind of like on low-key a fan of Batman, you know, like she has a certain amount of respect and admiration for him. So it's just kind of a funny relationship between those two. But yeah, this is a really great rock candy figure. I'm so glad that it finally arrived. And then the last figure that I have here, I think this is everything. I got so many boxes around me, but yeah, I think this is the last figure here. Again, this does come from Entertainment Earth, so... Let me go ahead and grab this out here and it is a pop and yes I definitely been waiting for this one so we got Betty Boop going on here and um you know like everybody else I'm just a fan of the design of Betty Boop I don't know if I've ever actually watched a Betty Boop cartoon um I know that I've seen like clips of them but I don't know if I've actually watched one I think the only time I really saw Betty Boop um, as far as the speaking role and everything was in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. You know, she was in the bar scene in that movie. So, yeah, I did order, um, this should be the exclusive. Now, I did watch Bearded Pop Hunter's video where he was sent the wrong figures and he was definitely upset about that. Um, and I'll try to remember to link that video down below too. That, that's an interesting video. Definitely check that out. I definitely felt bad for him that that happened. But, you know, everything I think is straightened out. But, yeah, just watch the video. But, yeah, this should be their, their exclusive, which has a chance at a chase. So, oh, my goodness. <laughs> Yo, I got the chase. I can't believe that. <laughs> wow. This is like the 
third or fourth chase that I've gotten from Entertainment Earth. Um, I can't even count them all right now. I know I got the uh, the Predator Hound. I think I got yeah. I think I got that from Entertainment Earth. I got the Rocketeer Dwarves chase. I feel like there was one more as well. But yeah, this is awesome. So yeah, I actually got the chase. I was really hoping for it. That's why I ordered it with them. That's why I order a lot of figures with them, to be honest, because of the chance of a chase. Now, I do see a problem here. There is actually a little tear on the corner. So not happy about that. Um, I don't know what's going on with them. Bearded Pop Hunter mentioned this as well. They're supposed to have guaranteed mint shipping. Doesn't seem to be the case lately. I don't know what's going on with that. So, um... But I'm not super picky about boxes. I mean, I might say something to that about with the company. I may not. I'm just happy to have the chase. That's really what it comes down to. This is an awesome looking figure here. So really happy that I got this. I think that the um the other exclusive with them, I think it's just straight up black and white. I have to check that to be sure. And I think the difference with the chase is that it does have the red highlight. So you see the little kiss marks on there on Pudgy's face from where she gave him a kiss on his cheek there, I should say. And then, of course, she has the red lipstick and the red dress. So this is an awesome chase. Um, and you know what? To be honest, even though it has that little tear there, I'm not even going to sweat that because this is staying in my collection, you know, regardless. So I'm happy. You know, I could say something but to the company, but I may not. I'm just happy that I have the chase. That's awesome. So very cool. I, I really wasn't sure if I was going to get it or not. Don't always have the greatest luck, but I'm so happy that I looked out this time. And... I gotta say this as well, and I'm being completely genuine with this. I also feel very lucky, feel very blessed to have so many great supporters on my channel. The support has really been amazing for me, especially lately. I really do appreciate that. And you know, that's why I'm continuing to uh, try to get the community more involved on my channel, to give more people a chance to be involved on my channel, and also continuing with the giveaways despite some of the negativity that give giveaways can bring. You know, I'm just trying to really stay in touch with the community because. People have been so great to me, and I really do appreciate it. And if you stuck with me all the way through this video, I definitely appreciate that as well. But uh, make sure that you check out um, the links down below. Like I said, I'm going to make sure that I link a video for Robert Kinzel, um, Bearded Pop Hunter's video. I'm going to try to remember to link that also. And um, also the Louise Belcher Pop, if it's still on Box Lunch's website, I'll try to remember to link that also for you all. So make sure you check out those links down below. Be on the lookout for the next Funko News video. I think it's going to be a good one. We got some Fortnite pops to take a look at. The Spider-Man pops that I was talking about. Some other cool things like the um, more New York Comic Con reveals. So a lot is coming up on Funko News. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll talk to you all again real soon.